Hey, so this is just a quick follow-up video to the last one I posted with the bee feeder in the driveway. This one's the how-to on making your bee feeder. Somebody suggested I should make this, so here I go. So here is all you'll need to make your bee feeder. A bucket. I picked this one up from the side of the road. The lid. Also picked up from the side of the road. Um, just make sure the lid has the O-ring seal. That way it won't leak. Some kind of writing thing. I like to use... This, uh, I don't even know what gauge wire it is, but it's pretty strong wire and a torch to heat up the wires. You can see this is from when I made the blue one. It still has blue plastic on it. Some things to look for when you find your bucket or when you go buy a bucket at the, at the bucket depot. It's make sure it has this flange because this is where your sugar water will sit. You're going to make holes in here. And uh, as you turn it upside down, obviously the liquid comes up here and similar to your basic dog watering bowl, it'll fill up without overflowing and the bees will be able to drink from here. It'll also tend to leak a little bit from here because these aren't super, super water watertight, but not enough to matter. So I'll show you how to mark it and uh, we'll get going. Well, the easiest way to mark your bucket is you take it out in the sun and you put it like this. So you can see I've already marked a couple of them. You just want to make sure you get to the bottom of these cups. And also you want to come on the outside and figure out which ones you want to use. Do you want to use these big ones or these smaller ones? And you put it up to the sun and you put your finger on the one you want. That way, uh, turns out the bigger ones are smaller on the inside and the smaller ones obviously are bigger on the inside. So just go through and you can mark where you want all your holes to be. Pay attention to this one right here, this guy, where the handle goes. You don't, do not want to make a hole in this one because all, all your juice will leak out of there. So that's, that's no go on that side. And that's a no go on that side. So I like to skip, skip every other one and just mark them like this. Now this is the small one. You just gotta make sure that it's, it's gonna be this guy right here. You do not want a hole in the handle hole. And you wanna go as low as you can. And there we go. You get them all marked up. On to the next step. This step is going to involve fire. Disclaimer. Fire burn stuff. Please use fire responsibly and wear appropriate safety gear. That's a disclaimer. So we got fire. Okay, we're gonna heat up our piece of metal here. off the fire to be safe. I'm gonna sit you guys down here. Get a bendy tripod up play, play nice here. here just a second. Uh, there we go, okay. So with your hot poker. You just wanna go through. The one side. Make sure you don't pierce this in. Keep that intact again or your bucket will leak. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll be right back with you guys. If you don't have a torch, you can't heat a piece of metal up. You can use a drill, but you have to be very, very careful with a drill. It'd be really easy to go through both sides of it with a hot piece of metal. If you don't have a torch and you have a gas stove, you can just put this up to your stove. You can see, once you're done, you have all these little holes. And there you can see that right there. See? The holes are near the bottom of these cups. All the way around. The water will flow. The water will fill up. And uh, it's not going to go. A 
that's basically it. You're done at this point. Um, all you got to do is put 20 pounds of honey. I'm sorry, 20 pounds of sugar in here. Plain white sugar, table sugar. And uh, fill it up to uh, about here or so with water. Give it a couple of stirs because, uh, you know, it'll take a bit for that, that sugar to dissolve. But uh, stir it a couple times. Let it sit for a few minutes. Stir it again. And uh, put your lid on it. Set it somewhere. And uh, I'd say maybe, depending on where you are, a couple hours you'll have bees. Maybe sooner. I'll show you. I'll just pour some water in there. I don't have, I don't know if I have 20 pounds of, of sugar to put in there right now, but I'll just put water in it here in a second and show you guys. Okay, I'll be right. Okay, so there's some water in there now. We're going to pretend that this is sugar water. That goes up. these buckets just make sure that the lip here catches these have a little flange on on these sections right here there's a little flange on the inside to make sure that catches the lip you get a good seal hear that clicking in place there. Hi, Kathy. Okay, I had a second thought and through the magic of video. I have 20 pounds of sugar. I'm showing you a legit way of doing this. I'll show you how simple it is. water I like to fill it up to just below the holes we made and that gives you about a one-to-one -one ratio not enough it might, it might be off a little bit, but not enough to really matter. Then you get something to stir with, like a stick. Then you break it all up. I stirred it for just a couple more minutes. Still using this one. It looks like milk now. If you don't stir it at all, eventually the sugar will dissolve. This is just because I want to just, just to make it quick. Now at this point, you can let it sit for a few minutes and uh, come back and start some more. Or you can cap it. Sugar will dissolve either way. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like here in about 10, 15 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes since I, I set this down. And look at that. Already, somebody coming to the dinner table. Still looking milky. And there's a little bit left at the bottom.
Yeah, earlier I said you could leave it and it will dissolve eventually. It will. Uh, it's not too warm today. And uh, so just to make sure that it gets all nice and dissolved, I'm going to let it sit for a little while longer. Um, while it does that, figure out where you want to put it. Like in my case, I got this center block here in the back of the yard. And I made sure I put my, my uh, iPhone on it. And uh, I went to the level to make sure it's level. And once this gets done over here, I'll probably give it another 10, 15 minutes. Then uh, again, I'll just cap it and we'll set it up over there. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back for that. And then we'll wait a little while and see how long it takes for bees to get here. Okay, okay guys, so it's here. been about another 10 minutes. Uh, I think it's maybe 20, 25 minutes since uh, I initially started this whole story thing. And uh, I just started out just a second ago. There were two bees hanging out. Now I can feel on the bottom there's no undissolved sugar. And uh, it should be fine. Again, if it was warmer, it would take, it would go a little quicker. But since today is not a very warm day, I think it's in, I think by now it's probably in the low 60s, high 50s. Anyways, half an hour or so. guys down as I put the lid on the bucket make sure it's tight this lid's all beat up anyways you find yourself a nice lid or buy yourself a better newer lid it'll go much easier for you this one has splits here there here here and there what happens when you get free stuff on the road. But free is good. Okay, so it's set up, it's ready to go. I'm gonna go set it up over there. Okay, so I set this up. I'll brought you guys over here just to show you the, uh, I don't know if you can tell the water level. It's gonna go to the top of the highest hole, wherever that guy may be. But you get the idea, right? Water goes in there, and then the bees come drink from it. Okay, okay. 